Hi guys, Dorota Palitska, International Nail Artisan Educator here and at first I would like to say a huge thank you because guess what, we've got 60,000 subscribers. That's a really awesome number and I do really appreciate all your support, all your likes, comments and share because that's the way this channel grows and I do really enjoy it actually with the cameraman uh, providing those videos for you, don't we? Yeah. yeah, we do totally. Uh, honestly, guys, like it's a pleasure to to do the, all those tutorials for you. And I have prepared another design for you. Have a wee preview of it in here. Yeah, that's what we are going to create for a sixty thousand subscribers. So thank you so much again. Let's start. So beautiful and I will show you how to recreate this look. Uh, I have left the thumb empty so I can show you um, from the scratch really. Uh, and that's what we are going to start doing with scratching the natural nail. So I'm using the file just to scratch the surface of the natural nail. And uh, guys, I, I mean, I really appreciate it. Uh, all your shares to this channel, all of you who have subscribed as well. Um, I'm so happy that we've got uh, 60,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for that. Uh, yeah, let's scratch this nail a little bit more. And then once you're happy and there is no shiny places, remove the dust and dehydrate with the nail dehydrator. I mean, obviously I'm working with my left hand. Um, so this is my not dominant hand. And that's mean I'm going to be a little bit slower. So I do apologize for it. I'm glad that actually I should do it with my right hand and I can do it this set even nicer. But um, I'm going to show you how I'm applying the forms as well. So I'm just cutting out like pretty decent uh, cuts on the side uh, so I can pre-pinch the form really nice and this way I will get a nice, nice shape nail. Going a little bit longer, which I'm very happy for. So apply the nail form underneath and then once I'm happy, I'm just going to squish it, it for a really nice pinch look. Okay, I want those nails to be nice and slim. So I'm going to use the nail prep. Can see the form goes uh, nice and straight and that's what I like on my nails. Wait for it to dry and then we are going to use the universal air bond. So in the meantime I'm going to open the pot of the light rose. So universal air bond and then again we have to wait for it to dry. Mark, she's so in love with the set. Like, they turn it out so pretty. Like, really, really pretty. Okay, I've got my gel brush. And we can start sculpting the snail. Actually going to squeeze it a little bit more. Then pick up a scoop of the product. And then apply on the top of the natural nail. The brush has a wee tip, uh, so that gets you really nice and close to the cuticle without flooding it. Okay, 
and then pick up another scoop of the product just to work out on the free edge. So I'm always applying a little bit more at the place where the natural new join and the form. And then just start dragging it into a coffin shape. So this is going to be a pretty long nail. And I'm going all the way to the M and a half ish. Then once I'm happy with it, I'm going to give it a cure. So I'm going to cure this fan for 30 seconds and after 30 seconds we are going to give it an extra pinch just to get those nice and slender look. And we will use the snowflakes, I'm so actually excited. See the back of the form which we have uh, gotten here, we will use it for our paint. And when my nail is curing, I'm going to put those paint out in here. So we are going to use the French gel, which is our white. <coughs> That's a paint gel. Uh, they are actually awesome because they're so highly pigmented. So I'm putting a drop of this white. My nail is flash cured, so I'm checking it. And when I'm happy, we are going to apply the pinching clamp. just to get those nice slim look. Ideally, I wish to have two pinching clamps, <laughs> so it's even slimmer. I'm going to cure it for another um, 30 seconds and then grab this paint. So that's a color plus red. Okay, my nail has cured a bit so I can remove the pinching clamp and I can start building the structure. Picking up a small scoop of the product and apply it through the entire nail. So really nice and thin layer. And you've got, when you've got so little product, you've got more control over it. Like very close to the cuticle on the sides and then pick up a very large scoop so we can build up our apex. So I've got a decent amount of the product and try to release this ball and then work more through the middle because by the time I reach the end the product is going to reach the sides. And also some of the sides is going to be filed away anyway. Okay, so we can see my apex. And then give it a cook. Now, when we work thin with the product, uh, it doesn't produce the heat spike. But when we've got uh, quite a thick uh, amount of the product, and I do really apply it at thick, like, I mean, if I would cut this extension off, there will be like a huge amount of the product inside. Um, I suggest you remove the hand for a one, two seconds just to slow down the curing process and then put it back inside uh, to finish the curing. And this way you wouldn't feel those heat spike. Uh, it doesn't happen when you've got those thin layer, uh, unless someone has really sensitive nails and you've got fast curing clamp. <laughs> Okay, so once it's cured, I'm going to tap it in and reapply my pinching clamp again. I really want to have a nice and slim thumb and then cure for the next 60 seconds.
Okay, we can put that on the side and we are going to um, put the paints on the side as well. So we've got white and red uh, because we will use them once we finish the filing of the needle. You are also going to need uh, the pinching clamp as well because we will encapsulate some snowflakes and I will show you how to do that as well. Like they're actually awesome. We've got them on the website and I love the fact they come in different sizes and uh, different uh, colors as well, which is absolutely awesome. Okay, my needle is ready so I can start filing it. I'm just going to put the wipe in here, remove the pinching clamp, remove the form. And then UV cleanser to remove the inhibition layer. Using the file, we are going to shape the snail. So tiny bit at the free edge, so it's nice and straight. Side walls. Other side. I don't like when the lower arches are too low, so I'm going to file them a little bit. I just find it as comfier for me uh, to don't have them too low. Nice V shape. And a V-shape. And basically now I just need to smooth out this uh, nail and remove the excess of the product which I've got in there. I think filing the thumb is the Farm and pinky is the most difficult task uh, when you're not dominant hand, uh, because you cannot help yourself. <laughs> uh, but what I'm doing is I'm using uh, both hands, so I'm filing with my left, like I'm kind of holding with the left hand the file, and I'm using the movement of my right hand to shape those nails. You can see it how nice and slim it starts to look. Check the side walls are equal, so they have to be at the same height. Okay, and then once you're almost happy, I'm slowing down because if you start filing uh, too much in one place, uh, you might end up over filing. So I suggest you kind of really um, check where you file and that's enough. Uh, I can swap it to the buffer because when it is necessary, I can always file it a little bit more. So you could see it, I didn't even touch the apex area and that's my usual filing technique. I don't like to over file the product on the places where I have already put it on. I'm just filing this corner here, making sure it's nicely blended with the natural nail, and then smoothing the surface of the entire nail. And you can see it start getting into the shape. Okay, we also, like you can see it, I've got a tiny bit of the product in there, which shouldn't be there. So I'm going back to the file and just file that away. You want to make sure it is blended really nicely everywhere that you cannot see where the product is starting. And then go back to the buffer. That's much better. And that's my nail finished. So I'm just going to take a brush and check it. Yeah, I'm liking it. 
And then we can clean this mess and start the design. I'm going to clean it with the blue scrap, so like make sure it's nice and clean. Actually, the other nails as well. And then we can start painting the design. So for the first part of the design, we are going to use the transfer foil gel glue. And it's awesome because it's so easy to work. Like, and some rose gold transfer foil. I love this rose gold. Like, I think it's just so perfect for this time of the year. And I wanted to have this color of the nails because my Christmas tree is going to be pink and white. Uh, so I thought that will just match it. Um, let me use this. Okay, so what we are going to do is, first of all, let's pick up a tiny bit of those foil gel. Okay, and then we are going to paint the design. Kind of a wavy look. Not so easy with the left hand, but I hope you can see it. Then on this one, I'm going to paint two lines just because we are not going to have some snowflakes in there. So one line. I don't want them to be too thin, but at the same time, I don't want them to be too thick either. And the same in here. It's actually worked out perfect because I got some wee air bubble in there. So I'm just going to hide it with the design. And that's why I love it. Like when you create designs, I'm trying to kind of um, doing it through the entire set of the nails. Um, the way if I see any imperfection, I will keep improving them even with the top coat application. Okay, maybe a little bit thicker here. I really like this rose gold, so. Perfect. We are going to cook it for 60 seconds. And I also start mixing our paint. So I'm going to use the one stroke brush level one. Actually, this is going to be difficult. Here we are. So what I'm doing is I'm just mixing those red and white. I want to have a kind of pink color. I don't want the red too much in there, you know. So I'm removing the excess of it. Like making sure I've got more of a pink rather than red. So my brush is ready. I'm going to cut out a tiny bit of this rose gold transfer foil without of touching the gel. <laughs> so I've got one piece. And we've got um, those rose gold transfer foil on the website as well. Like I think it's such a nice color, slightly different than most of the transfer foils. In between the fingers, and then I'm just going to press it into our um, foil gel. Okay. Search for an empty space. Quite difficult task with your left hand, uh, honestly, guys. 
like transferring the transfer foil because you need to do give it those massage kind of pressure into it but there is no way I would try it, it with the um, uh, Neil Perfect Back Foil Design Gel because you need to be so precise with it. But on this one, I can try it even with my left hand, which is so cool. Because it's just much easier to work with. Perfect. Okay, so we've got those rose gold. I mean, they look so pretty even just like now. And then we can move on into the next part. <clears throat> okay, so I'll just pick up more paint, why not? Um, I'm going to go two colors on this one. So white maybe on the top, no. We need to go very close to the transfer foil. And obviously doing it with my left hand is really difficult. Ideally you want to do it in a... There we are, one go of the brush, so you've got nicer blending, nicer mixture. Okay, I'm picking up one more scoop. And I'm doing the same and one more time. This is actually so cool, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I'm picking up again one side. Actually, I'm going to use the one stroke technique will be better. Blend it. Make sure you kind of load your brush with quite a decent amount of the product. And then we are going to paint it here. As I say, it's if if it is possible, try it to do it with the one um, one move rather than going over it a few times. Obviously I have no control over my left hand. <laughs> okay, so we've got another one. Actually, I'm going to be fussy on this one. And just go over it again. One more time. right from the corner gosh this design will look so pretty with the right hand <laughs> Do 
This is as, uh, as much red I go for my Christmas heels, like. So it blends into pink. I don't think so. I have no. I never had actually red Christmas nails. I had once red nails, but okay. Let's do it again. See, I don't like those um, join in lines because if you do it in a one move, it looks so much nicer. It's still not bad. I have made the mess now. Got too excited. But good stuff about it, you can just go over it. And the brush strokes are going to get fixed. That's great. Okay, I'm checking if I'm happy. I will show you guys that with my right hand as well, just so you... Yeah, that's me happy. I'm going to cook it. And I will show you quickly with my right hand as well, like um, how it will look on a piece of paper, like, because I think it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. So I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. Okay. And um, we are also going to need those... Um, so let me pick that there, those snowflakes, and I'm going to go for this large white one. I love it, like I think it's so nice. Uh, again, I would probably freehand it on the other hand, but here I may have no option. Well, let me show you quickly. So you go pick up white and red, blend it out. And then it is so much nicer if you can do it in a one go, because you cannot... Um, it just looks nicer because <laughs> you cannot see those join lines. Well, unfortunately, not able to do it with my left hand. Uh, on this piece, I'm going to use the upvoted base gel. And some brush. So upvoted base gel. And I want to place this snowflake here. So a thin layer, kind of decent amount. And then pick up those snowflakes. So I've got my gem picker here. You could also do it with the brush and those large white snowflake. Place in a place you want it. I want it here because this one is lower, so this one can be higher. And then pick up some either clean foam. I have actually used the packaging for uh, after the tips and I think it's awesome because it's, uh, it isn't as um, soft as the clean film. Sorry, I'm going to tear it into smaller ones. So I prefer it because it's more stiff. Okay, so this one is more stiff. And then what you have to do it is place it over like this. And then apply the pinching clamp. Can someone lift me a fingers? It's fine, I will manage. <laughs> Thank you, cameraman. He tried to be... Okay, I'll let you do it. No? Yes? No? He tried to be really uh, helpful. Okay, and then I'm just going to apply those pinching clamp in there to hold my um, piece of foil in the right place so that star is nice and flat. And I love how it turns out because they are really nice and flat. Uh, and I think with those kind of large decorations, it is um, quite difficult uh, to get them nice and flat, especially after the nails are shaped because it's a different story to encapsulate them inside the gel, but different to apply them uh, once the nails are finished. And, uh, you know, that's kind of situation we want them more. Just going to clean it. couple seconds, that's it done. I can remove the pinching clamp and then I can pull this uh, 
out. So it looks nice and fat and you can see it like it's just perfect. <laughs> okay, uh, then the drop of the paint on French gel. Drop of the paint on French gel, my dotting tool. Let me get rid of that. My dotting tool. And we are going to add some snowflake here. I mean the snowflake, a kind of snowflake which I'm able to paint with my left hand. <laughs> and I'm going to break this one out because it's too... It's a little bit too strong. And maybe a wee snowflake here as well. She says we and then she slaps thousands of the dots. Uh, D-liner brush, clean it off after the gel because you want to have it nice and slim. And then we are going to drag it. <laughs> See? Down the way on the side. This is the type of snowflakes I'm able to do it with my left hand. There is no way I would attempt a proper snowflakes with my left hand. No way. I can't even drag a line. I should actually ask Olivia to, uh, to do it for me. Actually, the quicker you do it, the better it is. Okay, so give it a freeze, couple seconds. Um, and basically, we have to just apply the top coat and then I can show you the final results of this beautiful set. I hope, guys, you have really, really enjoyed it and, uh, and you liked it, this video as well. If you did, hit the share button so we can get even more subscribers. Like, my goal is to reach to 100. I mean, not the final goal. Um, we should have even more, but... Uh, yeah, that will make me really happy. So hopefully by summertime, that would be really wonderful. Now I'm just applying a top coat and I will show you at the end what I'm doing also with the top coat over the star one, the snowflake one. Just capping the edge. They are really pretty. Like, I mean, nice and Christmassy. Now this side of the needle was a little bit thinner, the right side, not the left. So I'm going to add a drop more of the top coat, just in there, there, there. Okay, so drop more and then same right through the middle and where the star is. Drop more, wait a couple seconds to level out upside down and then cook it. And the reason for it is I want to make sure the, uh, the snowflakes is really nicely encapsulated uh, with the top coat. And yeah, I can show you the finished look. So a couple seconds longer. And there we are, that's what we have created today. I hope you have really, guys, enjoyed it. Send you glittery hacks and bye for now.